Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be playing Gunfire Reborn. It's an action roguelite game. Again, we're on that hype of playing action roguelites at the moment. Um, so this is a big recommend for me. I've put a lot of hours into this game with my friends. You can play with four friends here. Um, and you can see my level 94, I've played this a lot. Uh, we're just going to go through a normal run. I'm just going to play it for about half an hour, so sort of give you a feel for it. So it follows the standard like roguelite sort of strategy. You start off really weak with like no abilities, um, no like passives. We're just going to choose um, the biggest gun here. Sure, we'll go with this one. And as you play through the game, you're going to get like stronger every time, every run. You're going to get a little bit, a little bit stronger. And yeah, that's that's kind of the vibe. So there's a lot going on here, and I'll go through each of the mechanics as we go. So basically, you can equip two weapons. You always start with this foundry, and you carry on. You like we have three sets of ammo here, and we get these occult scrolls that will give us like abilities and stuff later on. And then as we progress, we'll be able to select our like main tree um, of abilities, which is pretty cool. Uh, I do. I do like that system and as we go through as well we'll find these like vaults which will give us like extra challenges so a challenge event here all enemies transform into a, some sort of beetle or something afterwards so let's just take these dudes out this minigun seems to slap pretty well and so yeah um, as you can see if FPS game um, it can be played with um, multiplayer which is actually how I prefer to play the game as you're going to see, we're going to open this treasure chest and we're going to get an occult scroll. So here it's perfect six. So for every five shots, the next shot deals an extra 50% damage. So great with the Gatling gun, right? I'm going to be shooting loads and it's going to be doing that. Um, and that gets added to our occult scrolls. And what's cool in multiplayer is you can hold to discard. So as you play with your friends, as you're playing through, you can be like, oh, hey, like I'm going for this like fire build or I'm going for this like, yeah, like you know, a Gatling gun build or whatever. And you can drop each other the scrolls you find because you each find a scroll. So everybody would get a scroll out of that chest. Um, so single player isn't actually the way I prefer to play it. Um, but it's still fun. Uh, it is still a blast. I know a few guys that play uh, single player. Oh, the, uh, the Gatling gun is tough to aim with sometimes. So I'll get the old foundry out. Um, and there's a you know wide variety of weapons you know as you can see like I'm drop I'm getting this like justice this is a weapon that drops I'm going back for this uh, vault here and not all the weapons are unlocked at the start of the game you know standard roguelite uh, sort of fashion you need to uh, you know unlock this stuff um, so this currently uh, this game is in early access uh, and it's being worked on like a lot um, we sort of see a monthly update at least. Um, and so currently there are two characters in the game. Ah, oh, snow boots. Ooh, immunity to slows. We like that. Yeah, so there are two characters in the game at the moment. There's this, uh, there's a doggo and there's a catto. And they've got different abilities. So the cats uh, is who you start with. They've got this E ability and what it does is it basically freezes enemies. But you could later like spec it into dealing damage. Um, it's, it's pretty great. So here's an example of where we're going to get a what they call golden goblet so this gives us a a choice of three of our ascensions so parasaur so our energy orb that's our e ability has one more charge energy echo it has the uh, same element as the current weapon type so some of the weapons have like electric uh, corrosion or fire and the energy orb deals 200 but has uh, 30 percent chance uh, so this seems cool let's go with that Basically, I make our E ability slap a little bit harder, which is which is great. So you can see there, we, we're going through the different stages, and eventually we're going to hit a boss stage. Uh, so currently in the game, there are um, yeah two characters. We've got the the cat and the dog, and the cat's ability is this freeze freeze ability, um, and the dog's is a oh just almost uh, jumped into an explosion there. <laughs> The, um, the dog's ability is to dual wield weapons, so that's really cool. We've, we've done some really cool builds with like dual Gatling guns, dual rocket launchers before, um, which is <laughs> it's pretty awesome. And um, yeah, there are currently three stages in the game as well. So uh, just you know, giving you a heads up of where the game is at at the moment. So there's three bosses, with three three sections. Um, they've got unique enemies and. Um, unique bosses the layout is 
Um, you can see these doors, you know, some of them are locked, some of them, basically they've like got a labyrinth and they like choose to open some doors um, and close others, you know, for different runs. So every run feels different, um, which is cool. Cool, uh, angelic aura. So yeah, you know, I'm gonna keep my justice. I like, I like justice. So every gun has like a different, you know, feel to it. This is like an SMG thing. Um, this has like a trick on trigger, like I can fire it and then right click. So it's pretty cool. So that's a pretty easy floor. Let's see what we get for our ascension. So we could choose to go down like a fire build, which is tempting. Or we can go down more of like RNG orb is a stronger thing. But you know what? I like fire damage, so I like fire weapons in general. We've got a justice, so let's uh, let's you know let's let's go with that. So we can fire this one here, and we can right trigger it. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> so there there are like red chests, and these give you like options basically. Um, so we can give give some money to get some health back. We can give health to get some money, or we can upgrade our weapon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give health to get to get some more money um, because you know I don't get hit uh, which is a great advice for any FPS game um, let's just put that there and cool so there is a vault there and I'm definitely going to go through it but let's just clear out any of these enemies so you can see in the top left as well we've got a little mini map uh, that can help you with things um, and this is cool. We've got like, um, you know, some of the uh, cursed, some of these vault rooms are like obstacle courses as well. So there's like, you know, some jumping puzzles or like, you know, dodge the, uh, you know, dodge the obstacles type stuff, which is really cool because, you know, some of the abilities are like you get the scrolls are, uh, oh, don't stand in the fire, Gary. Some of the scrolls are like, you're movement focused, so they're not all damage focused. Um, which, you know, as you'll see, will be good. So against the flow, recover 15% damage. Sorry, recover 15% ammo every second, but you lose ammo a second. So you know what? I'm not going to take that. I, I don't like I don't like passively losing ammo uh, as time goes on. Uh, <laughs> it's, you know, it's just not good economy. If you've got like, um, you know, if you're constantly... That was a great grenade. If you're constantly flying through... You've got loads of uh, loads of kills. Then I suppose you could <laughs> you could do it that way, but uh, I'm not about that. And so also we've got the shift. So it's not important yet because I haven't had to like physically dodge enemies too much. Um, but as as you, uh, it basically gives you a dodge roll. Is essentially what it does, uh, which is absolutely crucial later in the uh, later in the game when we're fighting against bosses. Um, and some of the uh, some of the bosses really really suck. So let's lay down some. Since we're doing more fire damage, I should use my justice more. Um, and so this guy is a craftsman. So each of your weapons can be upgraded as we go through. And uh, as you can see, sorry, I didn't mention this before, but each of the weapons themselves have like different types of stats. So you know, one justice you get in one game will be different to another justice in another game, which is pretty cool. Um, and so yeah, you can like choose to increase uh, you know enhance your um, your weapons here uh, so I'm not going to though um, you know I don't need the money but at the same token um, I probably I'm probably gonna switch out these weapons at some point like you know what I'm gonna use this frenzy shark not a huge fan of this weapon as you play you know you get your own preferences to like what you like um, let's go with um, what do I like? I can have more shield ever when I use my grenades, which is me. And then acidic explosion, enemies affected. Yeah. I like energy echo. Let's let's go with that. So if we've got a fire weapon and we use our E ability, it'll give us like a fire effect, I think. So you can see that there, you set into fire, which is which is pretty great. Oh. Boom. See what I don't like, you know, I just don't like that weapon very much. It's just not accurate. Boom, he's toast. So yeah, we've that's the first time I think we've seen that sort of enemy. But as you go to the different like areas, there are different enemies that spawn. Oh, another, uh, oh, that wasn't a very good grenade, was it? 
Let's lay that down on the floor for him. You know, it's just... It's not a very good weapon. I honestly don't know why I picked it up. Challenge event. The enemies explode after being defeated. Ooh, look at this. Extra fire damage weapon. We'll take it. Uh, but let's first go into this vault, see what we've got. Challenge event. Oh, it's the same room. Okay. Ooh. It's a kunai, but then it explodes, uh, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> and that synergizes really well with, um, with our uh, E ability because it's more fire damage, and we do more fire damage, so that's that's pretty great. Challenge succeeded. So the first area here isn't too bad. Um, and bear in mind, uh, I have played the game a lot, so I've got, um, okay, just some thorny carapace. I've played the game a lot, so what I've kind of got is, you know, because it's a rogue light, every run you can spend currency that you've got like left over on like passive abilities like do more critical damage or uh you know it could be it could be a number of things um and so yeah i've got a lot of those so if it seems like i'm steamrolling um well it's because i'm awesome but also <laughs> not really <laughs> uh yeah if it seems like i'm face rolling the game um it's 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 more likely that but yeah why do i like the game i mean so one of the things I like about it is it's early access, but it's a great game to pick up whilst it's in early access because you're there while the game develops uh, in this sense. And sometimes that sucks, um, you know, because it's janky or it's broken. But honestly, like, if I showed you this game and said, like, hey, this is a finished game, um, I don't think you would honestly be like, you would know. Like, it seems it's really polished. Uh, oh, I like this bow. Look at this thing. Does more damage against, uh, it's mean it's not fire. But sure, I'll take the bow because it's just cool. You can see cool, cool weapons. That's what this is, uh, you know, all about. You can see the the possibilities. So here we go. We've got a peddler here, and uh, what this guy does, he peddles you stuff. Uh, so on the house is truly the best. Uh, <laughs> we we love this. This is the best thing. Your first purchase at the peddler doesn't cost you any copper, so that's awesome. Uh, what do we like here? Resolute. Um, when your shield is zero. I mean, sure. I mean, hopefully, you know, the interval gets doubled. I, you know, I don't like that. Let's uh, let's re-roll the shop here. Uh, laser gloves. Oh, it's pretty cool. I do like laser gloves. Um, concealed ammo. Okay, I'll, I don't actually like any of those, so I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go for it. Um, what have we got up here? And so some of the you know some of the enemies drop uh, drop weapons, and that's kind of how you progress. Or is that just what I changed out earlier? Oh, I can't remember. So let's go through the Golden Goblet here. So this is another aspect. So each of the ascensions have multiple levels, so like three levels. So we picked up Pyrodominance 1, we got the chance to pick up Pyrodominance 2 and then Pyrodominance 3. So it really feels like now, you can see at the bottom here, you know, eventually when we get to level 3, if we get offered it, we'll be fire damage 120%, which is dope. So let's let's go, let's go full down. So we're into a boss, we're into a boss. Uh, so you get to see what the, uh, the you know the first boss of the game is looking like. So since we're walking into a boss, I feel like you know um, I'm going to upgrade some of my weapons. First, I'm going to see what the peddler is offering in this room. Um, if this fire cannon, if this was a fire weapon, I might have been more interested. I'm not super excited about any of those. Elemental power, elemental damage plus twenty five percent when triggering will be passed on. So I mean that's amazing, right? Since we're going fire. Uh, it's going to be more fire damage, and then it's going to a chance to chain onto another. So that's awesome. And it's free because we bought on the house. Huge. Uh, we don't want any of that. Uh, so let's upgrade some of our existing weapons. Um, so I believe we can get four upgrades. I'll probably go through this more often than the bow. But, you know, yeah, let's rock the bow out. So let's meet the first boss of the game. It's a very Borderlands introduction. <laughs> you should just the, the name card would be uh, would have been cool. Oh, that's a, that's a it slaps. So yeah, I'm gonna just use my shift ability to get out of its way. I mean, we've done we done we we held him off pretty well. He didn't really get close to us. He's gonna charge back up. He's a shield, so we're gonna work him over again. I mean, this is a waste of arrows, but you know. Let's hit him with some fire weapons. We're gonna dodge out the way again. 
can just hear me spamming kunai into his head. You know, since we do more damage with fire, I mean, oh man, he's, uh, he got completely worked over. Yeah, I mean, that level of polish, I mean, it, you wouldn't have told, you know, you wouldn't have known. So, we get some currency. So you can see the currency in the top right. We've got our money, which is in gold, and then we've got the, um, sort of green coins, the emerald coins, or whatever you want to call them. They transfer, and that's what you spend to get, like, um... Like abilities that carry on between runs. Uh, so backup shield recover forty percent. Um, I mean, it's just all upside. It's it's quite disgusting. Uh, freeze enemies for more time, which is awesome. So I'm going to take that, and I'm going to have a look at this. This is strictly better weapon, um, but it doesn't do fire damage. Um, but you know what? I'm okay with that. Um, eventually. I want to make sure I settle on a fire weapon, but right now, right now I'm okay. So we're going into the new area. That was um, what the dog looks like, by the way. The other character. This is this is this is him with his dual weapons, which is pretty cool. So we're into like a desert phase. So you got to watch those uh, those snipers that can curve bullets round uh, <laughs> round walls. Is uh, pretty. They're pretty intense. So you can see there as well, you see his name was uh, in blue. He's like a, he was like a champion. He's like a powerful shielding one. So, you know, some of the enemies randomly get, um, you know, different buffs. I'm just gonna work over these dudes. This guy's got a shield, as you can see. So lightning damage is good against shields. Uh, corrosion, which is what this weapon I'm rocking at the moment is, is good against armor. Like some of the enemies have like yellow health bar above their normal health bar. So, uh, you know, these weapons are good at taking down those. Oh, there's a red chest hidden over there. Look at that. Almost missed it. Let's see what it's offering us. So choose the red potion. We can give 300 to gain max HP. Uh, so we're going to do that. Uh, I think I'm going to gain max shield since it's a, um, you know, it's rechargeable health. And we got the uh, shield buff anyway. Um, this is one thing that's also interesting. Like the cat character, the one I'm playing right now. Uh, he or she uh, is, is more accustomed to shields like they have a higher base shield stat uh, and generally you want to build towards shields more on this sort of character but the dog's more about health so you can see he's got a yellow health bar so he's more armor so really I should um, but I like the long rangeness of the bow uh, it feels really cool to use too <laughs> boom what we've got here? The prism. Uh, okay, so it's just worse than what we've got at the moment, so we'll carry on. But yeah, the music and, uh, you know, this is a different way of going. Like, I haven't been this way in a long time. Um, so, you know, every run, even though it's not unique, feels pretty unique. Just going to keep that wall between me and him. So defensive. So he, this guy's got a lot of health, but, I mean, he's going to go down pretty quick. That was some uh, some good shooting there. <laughs> cool. Oh dear. I mean, uh, I don't know what's happened to me in the last um, sort of ten seconds, but there that was some uh, terrible shooting from me there. <laughs> so we're going to keep plowing on through here. So yeah, I find the game super addictive. Uh, it's highly replayable. Um, when you get the uh, when you get the builds. And you get the you get the strengths, uh, and you get a really strong build, and you find yourself just you know slapping through enemies. Um, it's a real blast. Like what I probably should have done for this run is play on the elite difficulty, uh, which is a difficulty you get when you have completed the game at least once. There's a lot of bad guys spawning down there, but I thought you know um, I didn't want to show you you know some the basically the map gets more intense. The map sort of gets more intense, and um, you know it's it's a bit of a different game. Um, you know the bosses have a lot more health, and I kind of wanted to show you as much as I could, get you a feel for like what power feels like in the game. Because for me, that's that's like one of the biggest selling points is you really feel strong in this game when you when you get the right builds. 
uh, which is really fun. Um, and uh, just, I mean, I, you know, you talk about this in like Mario design, right? Um, it's just fun to move around. Um, you know, a lot of platformers have that. In this game, it's just fun to move around and click on things. <laughs> Uh, which is, you know, there's a lot to be said for that. Like, uh, and again, it, it leads on to like the the feel of polish, because you know they're still working on stuff. They're working on uh, interactions between, uh, you know, between abilities. They, you know, there's some weird interactions that happen. There's some, you know, interactions between certain weapons and the balancing of weapons. And you know, they're working on all that good stuff. But, um, you know, the the general feel and like the movement and stuff feels great. Uh, you know, it feels really good. And they've got the sounds right. It's, it's foundry. It, it slaps, uh, which is really cool. So let's press press on through here. Uh, Pyrodominance 3. So I should really be picking up a fire weapon at this point. Like, I'm, uh, I'm seriously invested in fire weapons. And I'm not packing any. Um, so challenge event, what have we got here? Uh, increase crit damage and decrease all others. Well, that's a good thing we only get headshots, right? That was uh, an embarrassing grenade. Don't uh, don't look at that. So yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess, um, I can't remember what the, did I open a, a vault? I must have opened a vault. So the vault rooms in this, um, biome i guess are different to the other like areas so you get different challenges different bosses um you know there are like mini bosses you can basically go into chunk 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 his head down um but use the environment blow him up he survived what a trooper uh, i would love a fire weapon to drop again i mean this is partly my fault really um uh, the third wave of monsters is incoming Oh, it's there, look. Discover the vault. Oh, we don't like this guy. Spamming shots from way downtown. No thank you. So, yeah. Um, there is a third character on the way. Um, we don't quite know what they do. And what they're going to be good at. Um, but I'm excited. Um, we, we know what they're going to look like. We think we know what they're going to look like. Because... Uh, you had the cat in the first loading screen, and then in the second loading screen you see the dog, and then in the third level there's like a a bird, um, some sort of bird of prey, maybe like a fal peregrine falcon or something like that, uh, is going to be like the third, um, the third character. And his character was holding a bow. Fourth wave of the monsters. Cool, so this is like a wave room. Um, you know, again, leading to, like, the variety in the different rooms. Um, it really can't be spoken enough at how replayable this game is. Um, it might seem very samey to you, and you might go, ah, oh, you know, I run out of steam pretty quick, but I, we really haven't. Uh, and, and that feeling you get when you play with your friends, and you get, ooh, kill Rogue Villain 40 times with corrosion damage. So we've got a uh, new weapons drop for us mid-run. There you go. So that's how uh, weapons are unlocked. You beat, like, you know, certain achievements within the game, and I'm still doing that. Uh, I'm just checking it, make sure I've got an escape route here. Uh, and and they drop for you uh, when you get the achievement, which is pretty cool. It also makes the runs in which you get achievements uh, a little easier, because you get usually really powerful stuff. Uh, so what the hell is this thing? We, we will... Okay, it takes, it takes weapon ammo I don't have right now, which is truly typical. The last wave of enemies. I mean, I could do with heavy ammo here. Um, that's some really good uh, bow shooting there. Whoa. I mean, this thing is really satisfying to use. I mean, a lot of the weapons are really satisfying. They give that really nice aim punch when you uh, when you shoot stuff with it, which is pretty great. So uh, yeah, I have no idea what this thing is it's like a shotgun oh this guy's this guy's mad let's he's got a weak spot behind him there you go he's dude it's like a shotgun like a close range auto shotty maybe i guess it does uh corrosion damage too 
just get up close in their face. Portal has been opened. Wow, that was a tough room. Um, so we can press tab. Let's read it. 65% uh, weapon damage. It's, oh, I mean, it's it's pretty strong. Okay, it's corrosion though. I mean, I would love fire weapons. Um, I have done this myself. <laughs> And what have we got here? Some random Argus weapon has dropped. Which I don't hate. Uh, let's see what we've got in here. Smoke grenades, smoke grenades, not really interested. This seems great. Wildfire, I'm going to be killing enemies under effect more often than not. So yeah, I'd love to find a fire weapon. I guess we're going to go into this portal, see what we see. You know, it might be an obstacle course, it might be a boss room, which I think this is. So, yeah, some of these vaults are boss rooms. Some of them are obstacle courses. Some of them are, you know, what we saw before, like a challenge room. So, let's see. I think we've got to kill these ads and then... Oh, okay, yeah. So, he takes... So, he's got armor. So, I want to work him over with uh, corrosion. That's really slapping him down. Good lord. Well... He didn't last very long, did he? You know what? I'm just going to use this thing. This thing... Um, it really kills. <laughs> so what did he drop for us? He dropped a rainbow. Um, not not great. Not super interested in a rainbow. Uh, and then there are these cool green chests that give you a choice of three scrolls to select. Which again, when you're playing with your friends, obviously it gives you a choice of six, actually, between the two of you. Uh, and you can, you know, choose to uh, go down a certain route. Uh, fill the air cape, that's fine. Increase the weapon damage when hitting an enemy away from you. The large, further away. Cool, so that's great with our bow. And uh, you know what? If we find, I like to fight at a distance more anyway. So, uh, you know, it doesn't synergize super well with our porcupine. But I'm okay with that. Yeah. I'm not too worried about min-maxing in this, uh, you know, in this run. So if we get a... <laughs> Ooh, that that did a lot of damage. So I think it's just upside this one. I don't think it gives us like a negative for fighting enemies. We just do more damage to enemies that are further away. Ooh, he's got laser sights. So these snipers are like a different variant. Hold still while I blow you up with an arrow. This guy's got nine lives. Right? He's, he's toast now. Just wait for him to... Uh, to stop moving and then... Chunk, hit him with the old recurve. Alright, let's push up. Let's push up. Boom, boom. Yeah, this is uh, this is pretty good. This is pretty cool. So yeah, everyone's going to be different, you know. Oh, stuck him to the wall. Everyone's going to be different. You're going to have, you know, sometimes you're going to go pure elemental flamethrower type build, um, and then like you know other runs, you're going to uh, we absolutely destroyed that dude. Uh, you know, sometimes you're going to do what I'm doing here, which is like you know long 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 range shooting, uh, which is really awesome. Uh, is this is this the way we want to go? I, I guess so. Let's break some of these things here. You can get like ammo and uh, weapons and stuff in there. Uh, don't know what I get hit by there. Some stuff. So yeah, what we'll do is we'll see the last boss of this area, and then I'll probably call it. Uh, I don't want to spoil the you know all, all of the stages and the biomes and stuff. Um, and is this better than the one we've already got? Uh, absolutely it is. It has a 25% chance to instantly kill a target on crit hit. We do corrosion damage, which is just good against extra armored enemies. So uh, yeah, unfortunately, it seems like the pick would have been to go with corrosion. Uh, I did not get it. But you know, let's see if we've got a good fire weapon here. Um, this is a fire weapon, but it's not great. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, um, let's take a chance. We'll roll the dice. 
last stand, reset the cooldown of your skills when you lose. I mean, that's just good. And then magic watch is also just good. So we didn't get a fire weapon. Um, and you know what? I got a bit greedy and I rolled, hoping I'd get a fire weapon. And I didn't get it. Um, which is just the way the cookie crumbles. So there's, so you see that I got like a million damage or something against that dude. There's a 25% chance I instantly kill a target on a crit hit, so on a headshot. And so far it's been uh, pretty uh, <laughs> consistent, consistently true. Whoa, look at this dude, just came out of nowhere. Not that time, not that time, that time though. So these, these, uh, these sorts of abilities, for my money, are the, like some of the strongest abilities in the game. Because instantly killing any target is disgusting, especially when you've got like big health pools like this dude here. He's maybe got armor and he's got, um, you know, he's he's got whatever else on him. You slap him with the instant kill, forget about it. You're done, son. You know, you've got somebody behind me. Whoa! Freaking Batman, dude. He was just like hiding behind that wall. <laughs> All right, awesome. Let's uh, let's press on. So I'm probably going to keep this weapon for the rest of the game. So we'll just buff that. This is a horrible room. We're going to get enemies spawning. Oh look, we're going to get enemies spawning all around us. So the first thing I'm going to do is take up some high ground because I don't like having enemies on like all sides. And I like to keep keep like I said, I like to keep them at a distance. And uh, you know, being up high and away from them is the best way. Look at this dude. <laughs> Surprise! So yeah, I like this about rooms as well. Like some rooms have like different respawn points. Um, you know, so even when you're playing in the same room you've been to, you know, before, it's still different. It can still be different, which is pretty great. This guy trying to sneak up on me. Mm -hmm. Oh, we turned around. I didn't like that. Need to shoot you in your weak spot, dude. Oh, this is uh, this is spicy, so I'm just gonna leave. Um, so yeah, those guys uh, they're they're tough, you know they're tough enemies. Uh, what I'm gonna do? We're just gonna uh, show me the back. That's what you want. So yeah, when you're playing as a team, you can you know teenage mutant ninja turtles those guys. You can like I'll freeze him and then like I'll draw him over here and uh, <laughs> you can work it that way, which is really cool. Um, right, so I'm gonna get rid of this. Um, you know, let's use the fire dragon. Look at this thing. This thing is awesome. Like that level, like the animation and stuff, you know, like the game's really smooth. It's really well polished. Uh, you know, I've not seen a glitch or a problem in the game. Um, you know, this is what the game feels like. It just could do with more content, you know, as we go. And I think it's already ridiculously, um, you know, good value. I've spent you know, hours playing with my friends. Um, and we all really love it. Energy Blade's great. Energy Blade is after casting the Energy Orb, 300% damage for the next hit. So if I hit something with Energy Blade and then I shoot it, that's going to do that arrow is going to do 300% damage, which is huge. Uh, so let's go check out what this vault's got in store for us. Um, we're going to be going against the fire, this uh, second stage boss soon. Uh, so where are we? Okay, we're in a, another boss room by the looks of things. Oh, that arrow just didn't didn't quite land for us. Let's take out these coyotes. Boom, boom, boom. And so yeah, on the uh, there, you know, they plan to do like a higher. Ooh, okay, what's spawning over here then? Another giant lizard. I mean, okay. I'm uh, look at that. It's absolutely slapped. I'm not. I'm not too afraid of another giant lizard. I'm a bit upset because I wanted to show you guys more. You know, more stuff. Bam. I want to show you guys more stuff in the game, but you know, hey, we you get get what you're given. I get ammo back. That's fine. Not weapons, just meh. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of guess it's kind of good. You can find out this stuff for yourself. But the, yeah, this game doesn't come like uh, it doesn't come recommended enough for me, honestly. Devil's Covenant. After picking up the Devil's Covenant, your current health is decreased by seventy five percent. Your current gold amount is doubled. And the amount I gain afterwards is 50%. So let's take massive damage here, but we increase our money by uh, 900. Which feels pretty great. 
I know there's a health thing over here. You see this like um, this, there's a bun up there, so I'm just going to go pick it up and get some health. Uh, you know, there was an option there. I could have gone for. Um, I think there's always good choices. There's good like you know. Uh, you know, I could have gone for more movement in that case. You know, fifty percent. A dodge chance and you know going against the boss maybe that's better but I thought hey let's let's get a lot of money and then we can like buy up stuff so we just get health back which seems cool I'm gonna buy another pork bun sure um, none of these seem particularly great for me whoops and you know what do I want to upgrade we can make our bow even stronger if we want and you know, let's make our fire dragon slightly better. And let's go, let's fight the final boss of this stage. And then I think I'll call the video. Uh, I'll call the video here. I don't want to show you too much more of the game. Um, but essentially, you get another stage after this, and then another final boss. And that's the game. So let's see if we can take this guy out. I love the boss design as well. Uh, it's really solid boss design. In fact, I should shoot him with the laser, then hit him with the, uh, the arrows to get more... Yeah, weapon damage. Okay, so he's spawning adds in his phase. Oh, that dude survived. So again, another thing worth noting is the game has uh, scaled to how many players there are. So you get more health. Um, enemies get more health. Sorry, uh, you know uh, they deal like more damage, all that good stuff. So the more of you there are, the harder a game gets essentially. Oh, he's going to do these uh, aerial slaps. We can jump over that. And we're going to get, okay, more, more, more coyotes. We'll probably take him out here in the next phase. Choom. Show thine self. So you can see him on the minimap too, which is pretty cool. Let's see where's he going to pop out. Ooh, shift. Ah, oh, I just got caught there. See, because I didn't buy that, um, you know, that extra mobility, you know, maybe that cost me there. Maybe I haven't got as much health as I need. Uh, and oh, got to jump over these three times. Uh, you know, maybe I die. You know, maybe that costs me. So I'm just going to burn this dude down. <laughs> burn. The dragon. The dragon slaps. So yeah, we get more coins. And then, uh, you know, oh, a fire weapon here. Um... You know, could carry on with the fire one. Flowing time, all our mini cooldowns on hit. I think that's just really good. Uh, you know, what would we get from our goblet here? Um, this does, you know, makes our E ability do AoE. You know, so the whole game is geared to, you know, make you feel strong. And it's just a blast. It's honestly a blast. Like, when you get, you look at the stats of a weapon and you see one that just perfectly synergizes to the way you've built. It's awesome. It's a really awesome feeling. And when you're playing with your friends, you can trade up and make sure you get that, um, you know, a build you're looking for every time. So this is a huge recommend for me. This is Gunfire Reborn. I know it's on Steam. It's uh, early access, obviously. I use about 15, 16 pounds. Um, I highly recommend it. Absolutely. Um, so uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, and I'll, I'll see you guys tomorrow for another game. I don't know. I know we've done two recommends in a row. Uh, maybe I'll try something new. Uh, tomorrow. So uh, have a good day. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.